The straight line method for depreciation tries to distribute the same amount of expense to each period of time. To do this, we must know three things. The purchase cost of the equipment or asset, the useful life of the equipment or asset, and the residual or salvage value of the asset. Salvage value is the amount the company expects to receive at the end of the useful life of the equipment or asset. So let's say that a company purchases a piece of equipment for $3,000 and applies the straight line method for depreciation. The useful life is five years and the salvage value is $500. What is the depreciation schedule? The formula for depreciation expense for the straight line method is depreciation expense each year equals the cost minus the residual or salvage value divided by the useful life in years. In our example, plugging into the formula, we have $3,000 minus $500, the salvage value, divided by five years. And this calculates to $500 as the depreciation expense each year. Now we can create a depreciation schedule. And we're going to put four columns in it. End of year, depreciation expense for year, accumulated depreciation at end of year, and the book value at end of year. For the first column, end of year, this is simply one, two, three, four, and five for the five years of useful life of the asset. For the second column, depreciation expense for year, each of these will be $500. As we calculated a moment ago, there will be a $500 depreciation expense each year. For the third column, accumulated depreciation at end of year, this is the total amount of depreciation accumulated at the end of each year. So at the end of year one, the total amount of depreciation will be $500. At the end of year two, the accumulated depreciation will be the depreciation for year one and year two. So $500 plus $500, which is $1,000. And at the end of year three, the accumulated depreciation will be the depreciation for year one plus year two plus year three. So 500 plus 500 plus 500, which is $1,500. And at the end of year four, it will be $2,000. And after year five, it will be $2,500. Now for the last column, the book value at end of year. This is the original cost of the asset minus the accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. So the book value at the end of year one will be the original cost of $3,000 minus the accumulated depreciation at end of year one, $500, which equals $2,500. At the end of year two, we have $3,000 minus the accumulated depreciation at end of year two, $1,000, which equals $2,000. And here are the other book values for years three, four, and five. In the end, the book value after the last year of useful life, in this example year five, should match the salvage value we started with. And it does, as it is $500. And here is another example with the original cost of $22,000, a useful life of eight years, and a salvage value of $3,000. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.